Hi, I'm Meg from Meg D on Art. I am here at Art Resin headquarters today. I'm a resin artist who makes geode phone grips, letter keychains, and floral wall hanging. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make letter keychains, so let's get into it. So in order to make these letter keychains, you're going to need art resin, something to mix your resin with, a mixing container, and I really like using gold and silver leaf to make the flowers pop in my keychains. These are my favorite dried flowers, they're from Amazon. This is the alphabet mold I like using. I really like using reverse alphabet molds because then the bottom of the letter ends up being the front, it's nice and flat and it looks better that way, so this is my favorite one. I also use eye pins because I pre-drill my keychains with a small drill bit and then screw in the eye pins, it makes everything nice and secure. And the final step is to attach the letter to the keychain ring using a jump ring. So that's everything you're gonna need. Let's get creating. The first thing I like to do is select my flowers. That way when my resin is mixed, I have everything ready to go. So I think I'm feeling purple for the letter A today. So I really like to use tweezers as well, just so I don't rip the flowers, they're very delicate. And then I'll usually just place them beside the letter I'm gonna be working on so it's all ready to go. So let's start mixing some art resin. I'm gonna be mixing 50 milliliters of resin, which is 25 milliliters of resin and 25 milliliters of hardener. It doesn't matter which one you put in first, just as long as you mix them together for three minutes to ensure that it's mixed properly. I just use my phone stopwatch and I set it for three minutes while I mix and I also use my heat gun periodically throughout the mixing process just to make sure there aren't a lot of bubbles and it's very crystal clear. All right, it looks like we are all mixed here. What I really like to do is pour the resin in first. That way it fully coats underneath the flower because if you put the flower in first, sometimes the resin doesn't get fully underneath it and it can cure with little holes in your keychain, which we don't want. So I will pour the resin in about halfway and then put the flower and coat the rest in resin to fill up the letter. So let's make some keychains. And a little tip that I like to do is take one of these thin kind of popsicle sticks and go along the edges just to dig out any of the little bubbles that might settle in the corners all around the middle here. I will start putting the flowers in and this is gonna make sure that the resin is fully coated around them since we poured it in first. Also a tip with flowers, I like to kind of push them down a few times, that way if there's any air bubbles trapped under, they come out from underneath the flowers. I usually like to do one or two full flowers and then I'll take something like this and put it in pieces and then I'll use this stick to kind of move that around and turn the petals into smaller pieces just to make the keychain look more full. And the last thing I'm gonna be putting into this keychain is some gold leaf. And I'll just move it around to turn it into smaller pieces. That way it fills the whole keychain. And it just adds a really nice sparkle behind the flowers. Once I'm kind of happy with how that looks, I will just finish it off with a little bit of resin to fill the rest of the letter. And the last step I'll do is if I see any kind of bubbles there, I'll just take them out like so. Once you're happy with how your letters are looking, you can cover them just to prevent any dust or dirt from flying into them during the curing process. I always let mine cure for 24 hours and then you can pop them out of the mold. So I will see you in 24 hours. So I'm only here at Art Resin for today. So I've prepared these letters. We're going to be finishing the keychain process. Right after I take them out of the mold, I will sand them and pre-drill for the eye pins and then of course attach them to the keychain rings. So let's do that. So the first thing I do is sand the edges of the keychain just to make everything nice and smooth and just make sure that there's no extra resin. And I just sand it very lightly. Pre-drill for the eye pins. So I just try to center it as a drill. So now that we've pre-drilled, I'm going to be putting in the eye pin. I first use my hand just to make it nice and centered. And then when it gets too hard to keep turning it, I'll use jewelry pliers to finish up the process. Attach it to the eye pin and then of course the keychain ring. Close the jump ring using your jewelry pliers. And there you have it. I'm just going to do the other letter for you as well. Close the jump ring again with my jewelry pliers, and there's the finished product. Here are the finished keychains. We have AR for art resin here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something new, and I will see you next time. Bye.